good afternoon to everyone good afternoon so so the last three to four classes uh, the previous classes i think maximum are three to four classes i think so so we are discussing linear differential equation with uh, constant coefficients okay there are seven types we discussed okay type 1 is uh, right hand side is exponential function type 2 is uh, right hand side is uh, sin x or cos x type 3 is uh, algebraic function or polynomial nets type 4 is uh, e power ax into v of x uh, v of x is either polynomial or sin x or cos x type 5 is uh, some uh, polynomial into x into sin x or polynomial uh, in x into cos x type 6 is polynomial exponential sin x or cos x type 7 is you know that uh, those uh, problem which is not comes under type 1 to type 6 okay now linear differential equations with the variable coefficient okay so the coefficients are here variable so the general form of euler homogeneous linear equation or cauchy linear equation is a not x power n d power n y by dx power n plus a uh, plus a1 into x power n minus 1 into d n minus 1 or d power n minus 1 into y by d x power n minus 1 plus a2 into x power n minus 2 into uh, n minus 2 derivative of y by uh, d x power n minus 2 plus and so on so a n minus 1 into x into dy by dx plus a n y equal to right hand side function i will take capital x this equation one is called euler homogeneous linear equation or cauchy linear equation okay so it's uh, more general form the the more general form of this equation is so this is the more general form okay a not into Uh, b x plus c whole power m into d power n y by d x power n plus uh, a one into uh, b x plus c b x plus c whole power n minus one into d power n minus one y divided by d x power n minus two and so on a n minus one into b x plus c into d y by d x plus plus a n into y equal to a uh, right hand side function is x so if you substitute b equal to 1 and c equal to 0 in this equation you will get the you will get the a previous equation that is this equation euler uh, uh, linear equation okay so this is a particular case of uh, this equation this equation the name of this equation is called legendre linear equation the name of the e equation 2 is called legendre linear equation so if you substitute b equal to 1 and c equal to 1 here you will get euler linear equation euler homogeneous linear equation or cauchy linear equation okay so now uh, the main idea is here first you should convert uh, the variable coefficient to constant coefficient once you if you convert by using substitution okay variable coefficient to constant coefficient now then you know the method how to solve so for this the substitution x is equal to e power z this uh, transformation will helps will helps us to convert the variable coefficient into constant coefficient so here if you see here i have take this this x is equal to the small x small x is equal to e power z now i am going to uh, convert uh, euler homogeneous linear equation into uh, uh, into uh, constant coefficient okay for this i am going to deal only equation 1 now so later i will tell you when i will take equation 
now i am going to uh, <coughs> convert equation 1 into constant coefficient for this i am going to use the substitution x is equal to e power z okay so x is i told that this is, i will take x is equal to e power z okay then z equal to log x okay if you differentiate with respect to x d z by dx is equal to 1 by x okay now dy by dx what i can write dy by dx is dy by dz into dz by dx so both are same okay so uh now dy by dz what is dz by dx dz by dx is 1 by x okay dz by dx is 1 by x now cross multiply by x so x into dy by dx is equal to dy by dz x into dy by dx is equal to dy by dz now or you can write x into uh, this is capital d where capital d equal to what d by dx so d by dx is capital d so x dy equal to this is uh, somebody will take this is theta somebody will take uh, d dash okay the notation will differ okay <coughs> i will take theta so that theta equal to d by d z so d by d z equal to theta so theta y so x d y equal to theta y or x d equal to theta so you should remember this result okay because to solve the problem you should know x d equal to theta okay the remaining thing is only for your understanding purpose the proof everything so next i think here you calculated what dy by dx similarly you calculate d square y by dx square <coughs> so d square y by dx square you can write d by dx of dy by dx okay now d by dx of what is dy by dx here dy by dx is equal to what dy by dz into 1 by x dy by dz into 1 by x So instead of dy by dx, so I use the previous result 1 by x into dy by dz. Here uv, so uv rule from here to here. So you should keep 1 by x here. If you differentiate dy by dz with respect to x, that is 1 by x into d by dx of dy by dz plus v. V is what dy by dz. differentiation of 1 by x okay now 1 by x into d by dx of dy by dz is same as so this is same as d by dz of d by dz of dy by dx into dz by dx so this is a chain rule so now these two are equal d by dx of dy by dz equal to d by dz of dy by dz into dz by dx plus dy by dz if you differentiate 1 by x with respect to x uh, you get minus 1 by x square okay now um 1 by x this is uh, d square y by dz square Okay, d square y by d is a square. What is d is or by dx again? D is a by dx is one by x. So d is a by dx is one by x minus one by x square into uh, dy by dz. So here also you have one by x square. Here also you have one by x square. Uh, uh, if you take commonly one by x square and then cross multiply, you have x square into d square y by dx square. x square into d square y by dx square into uh, is equal to d square y by dz square minus dy by dz so we have this equation now you can write in the simplest form x square into d square by dx square is uh, d square this is d square into y equal to this is uh, theta square 
theta square equal to is uh, d square by d is a square is theta square okay in, into y minus this is theta into y or x square d square equal to theta square minus theta which is equal to if you take theta commonly remaining you have uh, uh, theta into theta minus so you should remember this result similarly x cube d cube is equal to x cube d cube equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 so x d equal to theta x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1 uh, x cube d cube equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 and the x power 4 d power 4 equal to theta into theta minus 1 theta minus 2 into theta minus 3 and so on so where capital d equal to uh, d by dx and the theta equal to d by dz so up to this uh, uh, we are converting uh, the first equation that is the uh, Euler homogeneous equation to uh, using the substitution we convert it into constant coefficient so now the same procedure we can use for a legender linear equation so here the substitution is instead of bx plus c instead of bx plus c we'll take z e power z bx plus c equal to e power z so z equal to a log of uh, bx plus c so dz by dx is equal to 1 by bx plus c into b now so what is next we need to we need to find so if you So I will take here bx plus c equal to e power z. I got z equal to log of bx plus c. And d is a, d z by dx is equal to, if you differentiate this, we'll get 1 by bx plus c into b. What is next? dy by dx. Ah, dy by dx. That's all. It's correct. Yeah, dy by dx. Okay. So dy by dx is equal to you can write this is a dy by dz into dz by dx. Okay. Now uh next page I'll write. So so dy by uh, dy by dx equal to uh, dy by dz dy by dz and to dz by dx dz by dx is b by uh, bx plus c b by bx plus c so now a cross multiply by bx plus c bx plus c into dy by dx which is equal to uh, b into b into dy by dx dy by dz okay or you can write this is this is bx plus c into theta y so not theta dy this is d y equal to b into d by d is that is theta theta y. or from this you can write bx plus c into d equal to d theta similarly 
you can get find so now next you should sorry uh, yeah so next you should find what uh, d square d square over by dx square so if you find d square over by dx square you will get the bx plus c whole square into d square equal to uh, b square into theta into theta minus 1 similarly you will get this so there you have xd equal to theta x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1 x cube d cube equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 here you have bx plus c into d equal to b theta and similarly you will get uh, bx plus c whole square into d square equal to b square into theta into theta minus 1 and so on but for exam point of view you should uh, remember these results so if you forgot the these results so this proof will be help helpful to uh, uh, derive this result okay the first problem solve x square d square y by dx square plus uh, 4x dy by dx plus 2y equal to x square plus uh, 1 by x square okay so now solution we should start like this uh, first uh, uh, it is better to write like this x square d square plus 4x d plus 2 into y equal to x square plus 1 by x square okay now uh, so let us take to x is equal to e power z and uh, z equal to log x but you can directly write x d equal to theta and uh, x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1 so there is no need to derive these results here so now substitute uh, x square d square uh, value xd value in this equation so i call this is 1 1 implies the theta into theta minus 1 plus 4 xd is a theta plus 2 into y equal to x square x is, x is equal to e power z x square is e power 2 z plus 1 by x square so 1 by e power 2 z or e power minus 2 z okay now uh, simplify the left hand side so theta square minus theta plus 4 theta is plus 3 theta plus 2 into y equal to uh, e power 2z plus e power minus 2z. <clears throat> what is the auxiliary equation? The auxiliary equation is m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. So m plus 1 into m plus 2 equal to 0. So this implies m equal to minus 1 and the minus 2 are the roots of the equation. So what is the complementary function? What is the complementary function? C1 e power x plus C2 e power minus x. Uh, Lakshmi Narayanan. What will C1? Okay, e power. E power. Yes, it. Uh, think and yes, it. Okay, theta is. Uh, d by d z
Suppose if you have d square, originally you have d square there, so d square is what? d square and uh, so d is what? d is d by dx. So that's why that you are writing uh, x here. e power minus z. Yeah, e power minus z. Okay, so c2 into, uh, what is your name? Sanjay, sir. Sanjay, okay, good. Okay, so minus uh, 2 is it. So now, we should convert into finally, in terms of x only, c1 e power z plus c2 divided by e power 3z. So e power z is what? x. So cf is cf is c1 by x. plus uh, c2 divided by x square. So this is for cf. Okay. Now, pi. So pi equal to, uh, I will take this is equal to 2. So pi equal to 1 by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. 1 by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. Uh, right hand side is what? Uh, e power 2 is that plus e power minus 2 is that. So this is uh, type number. What's the type number? Three, three, one, 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 yeah, one, one is correct. So, three times four, plus three theta plus two into e power two is that plus one by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2 into e power minus 2 is actually uh, so original original equation is this is the original equation so using the substitution we got this is actually equation 2 is linear differential equation constant coefficient you can check it theta square before theta square we have 1 here 3 Okay, so you can easily solve this problem. What so my work is over up to this. The remaining part, I'll uh, last four days. I, I explained how to solve. Okay, so here onwards, you should learn how to do it. Solve these problems. Okay, uh, so once you convert into z, finally, again, you should convert. In terms of x, okay. Now this is equal to. So here you should replace theta by two. So theta by two, just type one. Two square is four plus uh, six plus two into g power two is that plus here again theta by minus two. So four minus 6 plus 2 into e power minus 2 is that. So this is equal to 1 by 10, 1 by 12 e power 2 is that. Plus this is actually 6 minus 6, 0. So I will write 1 by 0 into e power minus 2 is that. Okay. So the next step I will write uh, here. Okay, 1 by 12 into e power 2 is that. Okay, plus what you will, you will do now? Is that into e power minus 2 is that? Mm, correct. Correct. So you should multiply by the independent variable is that. 
okay there you will multiply by x because x is the independent variable now here you should multiply by z differentiate here with respect to theta so 2 theta plus 3 into e power minus 2 z okay. now replace uh, here theta by minus 2 so on the next step 1 by 12 uh, into e power 2 z okay sorry e power 2 z uh, if you replace uh, theta by uh, minus 2 you'll get z by minus 1 so minus z uh, minus z into e power minus 2 z okay so now you should convert into in terms of uh, x so e power 2 z minus z divided by e power 2 z so pi equal to 1 by 12 into uh, this is uh, x is equal to e power z so this is x square minus z equal to log x by x square this is uh, pi so finally again write y equal to cf plus p that's a power second problem x square d square plus xd plus 1 into y equal to sine of 2 log x into cos of log x so let us take x is equal to e power z z equal to log x xd equal to theta x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1. So now if you substitute everything here, you will get uh, theta into theta minus 1 plus xd is uh, theta plus 1 into y equal to sine uh, 2z cos uh, z. Okay, now theta square minus theta plus theta gets cancelled, theta square plus 1 to y equal to sin 2z into cos z. I call this is 1. Actually, this is a uh, second order linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. Okay, now auxiliary equation is m square plus 1 equal to 0, m square equal to minus 1, this implies m equal to plus or minus i. CF is e power 0 z into c1 into cos z plus c2 into sin z okay so convert in terms of x cos z equal to log x plus c2 into sin z is log x sine of log x okay this is a cf complementary function so now particular integral so how to proceed the particular integral the right hand side is we have what two uh, sorry uh, not two sine two z cos z type two sir Sorry, type 2 is correct. Type 2 type correct. Two. Uh, type 2. So you should use the trigonometry result to sin A cos B. Okay. Wow. The 2 sin A cos B, if you use 2 sin A cos B, you will get what? Sin of A plus B 
plus sine of a minus b and then you can get it i think you uh, i think you predicted type 2 that is correct uh, okay uh, okay i will sorry uh, pi pi equal to 1 by 1 by theta square plus 1 uh, theta square plus 1 uh, right hand side is what sine 2 z into cos z okay now this is equal to 1 by theta square plus 1 so here 2 is missing so 1 by 2 into sine of uh, a plus b it is uh, 3 z plus sine of a minus b so now this is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by theta square plus 1 into sine 3 z plus 1 by 2 into 1 by theta square plus 1 into sine z. So again uh, type 2, so replace theta square by minus 3 square, here theta square by minus 1 square. minus 3 square plus 1 times 3 z plus 1 by 2 minus 1 square plus 1 into sine z. So this is uh, minus 8, so minus 16, minus 1 by 16 into sine 3 z. Now this is 0, so 1 by 2 to 1 by 0 into sine z so minus 1 by 16 into sine 3 z so multiply here by the independent variable z so z by 2 differentiate the denominator with respect to theta so 2 theta into sine z so 1 by d means so you should integrate with respect to x. 1 by theta means you should integrate with respect to z. So minus 1 by 16 sine 3z plus uh, z by 4. z by 4, 1 by theta of uh, sine z, that is if you integrate sine z, you will get minus cos z. So now convert in terms of x minus 1 by 16 into sine 3 z is log x minus z is log x by 4 into cos of log x. So this is uh, pi uh, y equal to complementary function plus particular integral. The third problem solve x square d square minus 2xd minus 4 into y equal to 32 log x whole square. 32 log x square. So now uh, I this is type number, which type number? You should look at the right hand side and tell. Type 3, sir. Ah, yeah, type 3, correct. What is the name? Sanjay, sir. Sanjay, okay. Type 3. So, z equal to log x. Okay, so 32 z square. So, z square, that is a, that is a polynomial in z. Okay, so suppose if you have doubt, okay, well, so this is a, a shortcut method. So suppose if you have something like this, okay, well, uh, so then you know that originally the right hand side is what 32, 
something like that it's expired it, i think you are very familiar with the x but you are, now only you are doing the z so that's why you you may uh, may not know but if you solve five to six problems then you can easily find out by looking uh, the right hand side you can tell easily this is comes under which type So now we start as, uh, as usual, x is equal to e power z and z equal to log x. Okay, so xd equal to theta and the x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1. Okay, so now substitute everything in the given problem. So theta into theta minus 1 minus 2 into theta minus 4 into y equal to 32 z square. So theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 to y equal to 32 is a square so the actually okay i'll call this is equation number one so this is the second order linear differential equation with the constant coefficient so actually the equation is m square minus 3m minus 4 equal to 0 m minus 4 into m plus 1 equal to 0. This implies m equal to minus 1 and 4. So the complementary function is uh, c1 into e power minus z, c2 into e power 4z. Or you can write this is uh, c1 divided by e power z plus c2 into e power 4 z. So c1 divided by e power z is x, c1 by x plus c2 into e power 4 z is x power 4. So this is the complementary function. Next to particular integral. So 1 by theta square minus 3 theta minus 4. 1 by theta square minus 3 theta minus 4. Right hand side is 32 is a square. So it is algebraic. So you should write the denominator in the form of either 1 plus x or 1 minus x. I will take the least power of, uh, I will take the constant term out. So 1 minus theta square minus 3 theta divided by 4 into z square. So this is uh, minus 8. So this is 1 minus, I think here theta is common, that's why I will take theta commonly. Whole power minus 1. So into z square. So this is equal to minus 8 into 1 minus x whole power minus 1. Here I have z square. So 1 plus x, x is a theta into theta minus 3 divided by 4. Uh, one more term I need to write. So theta square into theta minus 3 whole square by 4 square 16 into z square. Okay, now uh, this is equal to minus 8 into 1 plus theta square by 4 minus 3 theta divided by 4 plus theta square into, uh, if you expand this one, theta square minus 6 theta 
plus uh, 9 divided by 16 into z square. I, actually, I don't need uh, theta power 4 and uh, 6 theta cube I don't need. So only here I need only 9 theta square. 9 theta square by 16. So in the next page I will write minus uh, 8. Uh, 1 plus theta square by 4. Okay, and then minus uh, 3 theta by 4. Okay, and then 9 theta square divided by 16. Plus 9 theta square by 16 into z square. So, which is equal to minus 8, 1, minus 3 theta by 4 to take 16 is Celsius. 16, so 4 times 4 theta square plus 9 theta square is 13 theta square into z square. Okay, now you know that theta equal to d by dz. So, minus 8 z square minus 3 by 4 into theta of z square is 2z plus 13 by 16. If you differentiate twice, you'll get 2. So, you'll get minus 8 into uh, z square minus uh, 3 by 2 z plus 13 by 8. So convert everything in terms of x minus 8 into z is log x log x whole square minus 3 by 2 again z is log x plus 13 by 8. The final answer general solution y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Oh, this is comes under which type? Log x by x whole square. Okay, otherwise I'll do that. Sorry? Algebraic and exponential. Yes, algebraic into uh, type 4. Type 4. Algebraic into exponential. Yes. Because, uh, okay, I, I will do first, I will do the substitution. X is equal to e power z and z equal to log x. Okay, so x d equal to theta x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1. Okay. So x square d square is theta into theta minus 1 minus x d is a theta plus 1 into y equal to log x. What is log x? Z by uh, e power z whole square. This is a theta square minus uh, 2 theta plus 1 into y equal to uh, e power minus 2 z into z square. So you can suppose if you have like this. Okay, so this is exponential, this is algebraic. So the type 4. Okay, so this is uh, equation one. Now, algebraic equation is what? Uh, 
ancillary equation is uh, m square minus 2m uh, plus 1 equal to 0. So that is uh, m minus 1 whole square equal to 0. This implies m equal to 1 comma 1. So the roots are repeated. So the complementary function is C1 plus C2 into Z into E power Z. So now in terms of uh, X, Cf equal to C1 plus C2, Z equal to log X into E power Z is X. So C1 plus C2 log X into X. This is uh, Cf. Pi is equal to 1 by, uh, this is actually theta minus 1 whole square. Theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 is theta minus 1 whole square. Right hand side function is what? e power minus 2 z into z square. So this is type 4. So first I operate e power minus 2 z. So you should replace d by d minus 2. So 1 by, sorry, I am also doing the same mistake here. So theta by theta minus 2. So theta minus 2 minus 1 whole square into z square. So which is equal to e power minus 2 z 1 by theta minus 3 whole square into z square. So now it is type 3. So you should write the denominator in the form of 1 plus x or 1 minus x. So take minus 3 commonly, that is minus 3 square. So if you take minus 3, you get 9. 1 minus uh, 1 by 1 minus theta by 3 whole square into z square. So this is equal to e power minus 2 z by 9. 1 minus theta by 3 whole power minus 2 into z square. So 1 minus x whole power minus 2. 1 plus 2x plus 3x square and so on. So e power minus 2 z by 9 uh, into 1 plus 2x. x is theta by 3. Okay. And then plus 3x square theta by 3 whole square plus 4x cube and so on but here you have uh, z square only you have so that's why I'll stop up to x square here that is a theta by 3 whole square is enough e power minus 2 z by 9 1 plus 2 theta by 3 plus a theta square by 3. Uh, 3 square for 3, so 3 into z square. Okay, now this is equal to e power minus 2 z by 9 into z square. 1 into z, z square plus 2 by 3 theta of z square is 2 z to differentiate twice you'll get a 2 by 3 so let us take 3 is lcm so 1 by 27 e power 2 z i will write the denominator so 3 z square plus 4 z plus 2. This is z. 
So now write everything in terms of x, so 1 by 27. e power 2 is at least x square into 3 is at least log x plus 4 into is at least log x plus 2. So now this is your particular integral. Final answer y is equal to cf plus p. The last problem. Solve x square b square plus x d plus 1 into y equal to uh, log x into sine of log x. So if you know how to solve this problem, you can try. x is equal to e power z is that equal to log x x t equal to theta x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1. Now x square d square is theta into theta minus 1 plus x d is a theta plus 1 into y equal to log x is z the sine is at the theta square minus theta plus theta gets cancelled. This is type number. What is the type number? Type 5. Type 5, yes. So algebraic into sine A, sine A is at. So this is all, um, auxiliary equation is m square plus 1 equal to 0. This implies m square equal to minus 1. This implies m equal to plus or minus i. Okay. So CF is equal to e power 0 is at into a cos is at plus b sin z and uh, cf equal to a into cos z is uh, log x plus b into sin z is again uh, log x so this is the uh, cf now we find the particular integral 1 by theta square plus 1 into z into sin z. So this is type 5. So type 5 usually will do sin z is what? Imaginary part of e power i z which is equal to imaginary part of 1 by theta square plus 1 into z into e power i z. So this is type 4 now. Okay, type 4. So in type 4, we will replace theta by theta plus a. a is here i. So 1 by theta plus i whole square plus 1 into z. So this is equal to imaginary part of e power i z 1 by theta square plus 2 theta i i square is minus 1 plus 1 z. So imaginary part of uh, e power i z 1 by uh, theta square plus 2 theta i. Theta square plus 2 theta i. Our right hand side is z. Okay. Now this is type number 3. 
So, e power i is at the take commonly 2 theta i. So, 1 plus theta square by 2 theta i into z. So this is equal to imaginary part of t power i z by uh, 2 theta. I will write the i in the numerator minus i. So 1. Here also I will write i in the numerator. 1 minus theta theta gets cancelled. So 1 minus theta i by 2 theta i by 2 whole power minus 1 into z. So here I write 1 by i is minus i theta theta gets cancelled and then whole power minus 1. So imaginary part of e power i z by 2 theta into minus i 1 minus x whole power minus 1. So 1 plus x i theta by i theta by 2 into z. 1 plus x is enough because here is a power 1. So imaginary part of e power i z by 2 theta into uh, minus 1 multiply z plus uh, theta of z. It is a d by d z of z is 1 plus uh, i by 2. Now multiply by minus i, you will get uh, imaginary part of e power i z by 2 i z by 2 into 1 by theta ok and then uh, Okay, if you multiply by here, you will get minus i z of minus i z minus i z i square minus uh, plus 1 by 2. Now you should integrate imaginary part of e power i z by 2 integrate with respect to z minus i z square by 2 plus z by 2. So take 2 commonly imaginary part of 1 by 4 e power i z cos z plus i sin z. Here the real part is z imaginary part is uh, minus z square. I need imaginary, so real into imaginary, imaginary into real. So on, uh, I need imaginary. So z sin z by four. Okay, and then minus z square cos z by four. So this is. Uh, but we need to convert in terms of x. So z equal to log x to sign of z is log x uh, divided by 4 minus z square. That is log x square cos of z, cos of log x divided by 4. So this is a pi. So final answer y is equal to complementary function plus particular. So this is a practice problem. Okay. Uh, today I send a assignment to 1 in differential equation. So try to solve those problem and the submit uh, before uh, on or before 5th June, I think uh, all the problems uh, are, is not direct problems, you should 
little bit you should think and do it so try if, if you practice this type of problem so it is very helpful for uh, for your second ca and you will discuss with your friends okay so suppose if you don't know so you should discuss with your friends and uh, and try to get the answer okay uh, if you have any doubts you can ask to me otherwise we will meet on tomorrow morning thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much thank you sir Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.